Good morning. Okay, so this is the look I'm going for. I want this hairstyle on this doll. So let's see how that's going to go. First off, I want to make a swoop. So I can see that it goes, let me get it down here, back and then around. So that means I'm going to have to do a couple of rollers um, in the back. So let's tilt her head down. You can kind of see where her uh, part is there. And I want to get it to about right there. The biggest thing with doll hair is you can't make the part, the hair parts too big. They have to be pretty small if you want to get, you know, a controlled. You've got to consider that this is plastic and it's a lot heavier um, than real hair. Anyway, let's get that nice and nice and uh, that looks like a good amount of hair. So I'm going to use a paper from perming. I cut it down and I'm going to wrap that around here. I'm going to slide it up. Can't see up there, but you'll see what I do in just a minute. Now I have my roller, which is just a drinking straw cut down. And I'm going to place it on top and just, I'm going to hold it really firm and roll it down. You want it to be nice and strong in there so you have a clean curl. So there it is. And I'm going to use bobby pins to secure it. So just one little clip on this side. And just to make sure that the other side stays strong, I'm gonna go ahead and put it over there. Now I won't leave it like that because that will create a, a really unattractive line in the front of the hair. Uh, when you set it so I don't want to leave it there. I'm just going to have it hold in place It's my first curl, but I'll move it. So let's go right into the second one I'm going to do another one exactly the same way make sure I've got Just a little bit of hair Going in the same direction uh, Feels a little thick still just a little bit less and okay that's pretty good that's pretty good make sure it's smooth comb it all out and we're going to grab another one same deal here's my paper wrap it around there and stretch it up grab another straw of the same size same size oop i dropped one and um really Hold that firm as you roll it down. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and secure this one to that one. And then that way I can remove these now so they won't leave that ugly line in the front. I'll just take that same one and I'll connect them on this side and then I'll take this one out. So now you've got two really strong curls going in a backward direction. Okay, I followed through all the way on the back. Um, from the front, next, 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 next. These are all rolled back. And I have zigzagged, um, sort of stacked these, like I put one on one side, then the next one to hook this together, and so forth, all the way down. So now I'm gonna do the sides, and I will show you how I did that. Okay, now I have this side done. One, two, three, it took four. I didn't want to make them too big, but they're all just rolled straight back. I'm just going back with this whole style. Everything is rolled back. Now I'm on to the next side. Okay, so I have completed the entire look here. And you can see she's got all of her, they're all going back. I had to put extra on this side because there was more hair on this side. And everything is ready to go. Got a little loose guy there, but it won't make a difference. Now I'm going to throw her in some boiling water. Okay, I have to move quickly here because this just came out of the boiling water. So I'm just literally going to dunk her head in there. And I'm probably going to count to maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Um, just an FYI, if you have a nice new repaint, and this is not a doll you repainted, I do not recommend the dunk. You're going to have to do the pour over. But um, because I probably won't keep what I painted on this face anyway, I just went ahead and gave her the dunk. Okay, well, um, I'm a little impatient. Uh, the hair's not quite dry, but it's a lot less wet. We'll just put it that way. 
So I'm going to kind of group this together. I'm looking at the picture. I want to keep that in mind, and I kind of want to group that. It needs to have a nice swoop. I mean, can't quite see what I'm doing, but I'm just I'm just putting the, the curls together. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb them together. And then I'm going to, I want it to swoop down and then curl back. So swoop down and curl back. So that's the look I'm going for. It's still a little damp, so you can see the lines in there. But it looks like I've got the right swoop in the front. Let's, uh, let's smooth out some other pieces and come back there. So let's come over here. because This looks all messy, and we need it to be nice and clean. We will just brush it down. And uh, you're going to have to go around with each one and do it nice and neat. No shortcuts. We're really starting to get the look I'm going for. Um, Fluff that up a little bit more. Now I want to kind of get this together so that it comes over like this. Something romantic. So I'm going to take some hairspray and I'm going to cover this doll. Let's cover her. You don't want to get any hairspray on vinyl. So let's just, or plastic. I'm going to cover the whole thing and I'm going to give it a little... Now there's probably other things you can use, maybe some gel. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna put some on the back too, but right now I'm just trying to get my swoop to look like that swoop. Which means pulling it around. I think maybe. Um, I'm going to pin it so I can fluff the rest of it and then I'll release it. I'm going to pin you up like that. I want you to stay that way. And I'm going to come here and I want to fluff this because I don't want it to be too like tight. It'll be a little bit fluffier, so let's fluff it. Okay, pretty much any hair spray will do. I've got um, extra strong hold. I like that. So um, we're gonna let that dry for a minute. I'm gonna uh, get too crazy here. Let's cover up her back too. Oopsies. I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray up here just to keep it strong. Very directional. You can do this to your own head, I don't think. Get the comb, smooth it down, and um, I'm going to use the hairspray also to smooth out things. But we're getting a, we're getting together pretty good here. Let's see here. 